in this session let's learn about the materialized view option called refresh fast as we discussed before we use this option whenever we want to do a incremental refresh that means we don't want to do a complete refresh whatever the changes happened on the base table like whatever the inserts whatever the updates or whatever the deletes happened on the base table since the last refresh we want only those changes to be refreshed on our materialized view this is called incremental refresh why we need an incremental refresh it saves time right instead of refreshing all those 1 million rows present in your table only the changes to the table are refreshed onto your materialized view okay so whenever we are creating a materialized view with refresh fast options we need to remember three points okay these materialized views can be created based on the master tables and master materialized views only what that means is suppose example you have a SQL statement and you are joining with multiple tables and out of that there will be a master table example sales and you are joining with customer product and salesperson your sales is your master table okay so as long as you have a materialized view log on that sales table you should be fine okay the second point materialized views based on synonym or review must be completely refreshed that means if you are creating a materialized view out of a synonym or a view you cannot do a fast refresh okay and another point is like whenever you are using a analytical function in your SQL statement you cannot use the fast refresh okay so whenever you are creating a materialized view with the refresh fast option there are two steps okay the first step is you create a materialized view log what does this log do this log captures all the changes that are happening on the given table example here we are creating a materialized view log on the sales table okay what that means is like whatever the changes are happening on the sales table whether it is an insert or an update or a delete all those changes are captured and stored in this log okay and using this log we will be able to fast refresh the materialized view okay whenever we are creating the materialized view log there are two options that are with primary key or with row id if your base table has a primary key it's better to use the with primary key option and if your table doesn't have any primary key you can use with row id option okay so this is the first step you create your materialized view log now the second step is creating the materialized view okay the syntax is the same except you mention refresh fast and another important point to note is whenever you are creating a materialized view log with the row id option even in the materialized view you need to select those columns okay because i am using two tables sales and product i need to even query those row ids s yes dot row id and p dot row id okay you need to make sure these two columns are there from these tables okay now let's go and create before we create the materialized view with the refresh fast option let's create the materialized view log okay it is create materialized view log on sales since we don't have a primary key on the sales table let's use the with row id option okay with row id including new values okay and let me execute this okay so materialized view log is created on the sales table in our materialized view query we have two tables sales and product so let's create the materialized view log even on the product table so i just change it to product and execute this so we have created the materialized view log on sales and product okay now i want to name this as sales underscore fmv and here the refresh method is fast okay and another important point which i mentioned is whenever we are creating a materialized view log with row id 
we need to fetch even the row ID values. So s dot row ID as s row ID comma p dot row ID as p underscore row ID. So I'm getting the row ID column from both these tables. Okay. And now let me create this materialized view. So materialized view sales underscore f underscore mv create. Okay. So now let me insert some data. Okay. So for 15th and 1561. So let me insert and perform a commit. Okay. Now let's perform the refresh. Okay. Let me change this to f. Okay and execute this refresh. Whenever I perform this refresh, it performs a fast refresh. It will go to the materialized view logs created on the sales table and on the product table and it will retrieve the changes made since the last refresh. And using those changes, it will perform an incremental refresh on the sales underscore f underscore mv. Okay.